I'm going to place it on top of end stone just in case. And it should be hatching soon. At least I'd hope so. I'm not really too sure what to do after it does hatch. But we'll save that problem for a later time. So yeah, I'm going to keep these foods on me. They seem really good. Wither treasure bag. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now we've unlocked the final chapter. Ooh, so the Wither Storm is next up. Look at these images. Oh my goodness. I love the design. Beginning of the end. Your final challenge awaits. Let's go. And so it begins. Craft and shatter a dimensional carver? What? Oh, so once I uh shattered the dimensional carver by putting the dimensional carver inside of a capsid, it teleports me to a place millions of blocks away so we could face the wither storm, I'm assuming. So definitely not gonna do that right now because I need to get ready, like beyond ready. So I know I'm gonna be needing a crossbow. Let's go ahead and enchant it if I can, please. There we go. Quick charge, exactly what I was looking for. Sharpshooter, I might as well take it since that's like the last option pretty much which increases arrow damage and has less random arrow damage which is pretty cool and ceaseless i think it's like infinite ammunition for the crossbow so that's perfect dang so i didn't get to keep my other mutant shulker shell so i can't even craft the uh wait could i no i can't oh never mind it's just in my backpack okay so let's go ahead and make the turret there we go let's go ahead and go to sleep for the first time in five years and once you place this i think it just starts blasting or something like look at this thing oh my gosh it looks beautiful so i need an enemy can i smack it yeah oh my gosh i'm sorry i didn't mean it all right i think i just messed up i'm not gonna lie do i have to kill it to obtain it back because i clearly can't pick it up or nothing not gonna lie i don't know what i'm doing but it's really nice as you guys can see it's about to break i was gonna save this for when i enter inside of the winter storm and nope i just had to be curious so if i combine my dark metal gear with enderium i could get enderium gear and then if i get ignitium ingots i could combine that with my enderium gear and then get the ignitium gear as well i'm so sorry for my english which is probably the most powerful gear in the game i'm assuming so i'm gonna focus on that for now you guys already know how this goes it's gonna take me a good minute so i'll be back once i get at least some of the materials and then i'll have to fight ignis i don't know how many times i think he drops like a few of these Oh, only one? So I have to fight him multiple times, which is fine with me. But I'm not going to waste too much time for you guys and just do every single thing over again. So let's do this. So after five years of searching, killing, and exploring pretty much, we're back. And I need to smith these, I think. Yep. But first, I do want to repair them for obvious reasons. I don't think I have any more mending mixture. I only have one more bottle. It's all good. I could just craft some more. That might take me a minute. And there we go. Easy. Now all we do is combine these together. Get ourselves a full set of Enderium armor. Boom. And I think it's way better than the dark metal as well. It also gives us a bunch of buffs as well. Like extra looting level in the end. Enderman's less hostile. It gives us random potion effects instead of teleportation with the chorus fruit. Which is kind of interesting. And I don't die in the void. But I think that's the last time I'm ever going to the end anyway. And this armor looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be even sicker once we turn into Ignitium. Ignitium. We just got to find and kill Ignis a couple of times. Hopefully it's not too hard. Probably will be knowing him. But all we can really do is try our best. Alright, it's about time I found it. Let's go ahead and make our way through. And we need to kill a certain mob. So we could actually summon Ignis. So let's go down here. I forgot what it's called, but here he is right here. It's called the uh, Ignited Revenant. And there we go. Go ahead and kill you. And we got the Burning Ashes. Exactly what we need. And we need to kill four of these. I mean, get four of these. So we could uh, summon Ignis four times. And eventually get his four ingots. Transform our armor. And then we'll be fine. And ready for the Winter Storm, pretty much. So could more of those guys please spawn? I think that was the last of them. I'm not gonna lie. They're kind of like pillagers. They don't just like spawn again. Or right, maybe after I fight Ignis, they will spawn. So let's make sure we're ready. And let's do this. All right, Ignis. Come on out, buddy. And there he goes. Oh, goodness. He's really scary. Oh, goodness. I don't want any part of that. Um, How do I counter that? I only know how to... Uh, Okay, yeah, 700 health. That's way more than any other boss I've ever fought in this pack. All right, hopefully he doesn't do too much damage, which he is right now. Let me use this thing. All right, he is dealing some decent damage, and so am I. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, get me out, get me out. Come on, let me out. I'm gonna, I don't know what's going on. Wait, I have my crossbow, please. All right, there we go. Let's use that. All right, that's, ah, that's so annoying. Again, bro. Here we go. 
have to fight him in this POV so I could look for holes. I usually fight in this POV. I don't know why I haven't been doing it in this series. Alright, move. And he's on phase 2 now. Kind of scary. Come on, buddy. Fireballs? That's not going to do nothing, buddy. Move. Oh, goodness. Move. Alright. Come on. Jump up. Yep. Let's go ahead and attack. Tank his attacks. Because why not? Oh, goodness. He deals a lot of damage. And, of course, I don't like that move. Right, move. Alright, it's getting really close. I'm taking everything, pretty much. Oh, goodness. Alright, here comes the harder part. Oh, no. I don't want to get hit by that. And, of course, I fall in lava. And, of course, I die. Nice. Oh, my goodness. What happened to my ender pearls? They're in my bag? Oh, my gosh. That's the first time I've ever died in, like, who knows how long. Alright, let's do this again, Ignis right oh i think he yeah he resetted his health that's kind of unfortunate and of course oh my gosh okay that's what killed me last time all right so okay he's dealing a lot of damage dang i didn't expect him to be this hard i'm not gonna lie i know he's a hard boss but okay all right wait am i chilling up here i can hit him from here those can't reach me buddy at least i hope not he's oh oh goodness okay <gasps> oh goodness yeah, that's the main attack that killed me. Where is he? Oh, I should have brought some golden apples. What was I thinking? Oh, no. All right. Maybe I just need a shield. Okay, I don't know where I left off while recording because my game did crash. But anyways, he's on 200 health. So he should be dying soon, hopefully. Oh, goodness. 100 health, 90. All right, I don't want to take too many attacks. Oh, goodness. 80, 50, come on, 40. Come on, he's just about dead. And let's go. We got three ingots. All right, that's cool. All right, let's go. We did it. It only took five mending mixtures and dedication, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, we could use these three for three parts of the armor. And also, I forgot to mention earlier, I did want to craft the incinerator, which does 22 attack damage, which is absolutely insane. And I don't know why the boss music is still playing. But anyways, I think this amount of burning ashes should be enough. So before I craft the armor pieces, I will craft the incinerator first since it's more convenient. And just so I could fight Ignis like way easier. So this place is here and I should be able to pick it up as well. I'm assuming, yeah, I could. So when I come back, I'll just pick that up or not. Never mind, I forgot. I already have some decent diamond towards here. So let's turn this into a sharpness five. There we go. Turn it into netherite. Now we could turn this into the incinerate. Okay, I forgot. That's not exactly how it works. I mean, I might as well use it. It's not like I could use this sword on anything else. So let's go ahead and take that. There we go. We have the incinerator. Look at how large this thing is. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful weapon as well. Now let's see if we could enchant this. I did lose like 90% of my levels. So, okay, I'm getting the worst uh, things in the game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty upset that I died and lost all my levels. I wish I had more quests to claim so I could get even more levels. We have some sharpness books in here, so might as well. Turn this into sharpness 4. Wait a minute. Has pending enchantments. So even if I enchant this, it's not going to work. So I just got to keep it like this. I mean, it's allowing me to get... Oh, so these are the pending enchantments. I'm an idiot. It's all good. We're fighting the Wither Storms. So I need the most convenient ones. Might is for like undead mobs. And I'm pretty sure he does summon undead mobs. So might as well get smite. Here we go. Smite 4. Sweeping edge is going to be useful. Might as well take some fire aspect. Don't think I could take the knockback. Wait. Yes, I can. Here we go. Perfect. I'll take it. I'm grateful. Now we got to fight this guy. Hopefully one more time so I could get three ingots again and then craft all the armor sets so i'll be back once i accomplish that all right ignis let's do this hopefully it's way easier since i have a way better weapon and i can use this attack as well okay so if i hold down long enough i think okay it's not doing it how long do i have to hold this down for all right here we go oh goodness wait that actually did plenty of damage oh my gosh i'm actually tearing through him a little bit yeah oh my gosh all right weapon is amazing way faster than my axe as well all right let me do the slam attack again Come on, charge up, and there we go. All right, I don't think that one hit, but it's all good. Oh, goodness. Come on, Ignis, go ahead and die for me. You don't match for me now. Oh, goodness. All right. All right, I can do that too. Oh, goodness. Yep, done 100 health right now. Yellen's not gonna do nothing, buddy. You're dead. Let's go. And we got three Ignits. Why'd I call it that? Ignits? <laughs> all right, perfect. All right, so first we gotta repair our armor as usual. I do not have any more phantom membranes. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, you guys already know what's gonna happen. Just need to climb all the way up here as usual. Here we go. Give me those membranes, please. And this sword is absolutely amazing. The reach is amazing. And I don't think it loses durability as well, which is also really nice. 
Okay, repair everything. Now we can finally combine it with the Ignitium and get ourselves a full set of this armor. I'm never going to say this word again because I keep messing up. And for the chest plate, you could combine it with Elytra, but I do not have Elytra. And I couldn't find like an actual end city in the end for some reason. But I will search again because I do want this Elytra for the chest plate. But we also need the mechanical fusion table, which we get from getting Witterite, which is from a certain boss called the Harbinger. And to locate him, he's in the underground structure somewhere. We need the Eye of Mech, which is extremely easy to craft. And I don't have redstone. Nice. But anyways, let's go ahead and put this on and look at ourselves. Oh my goodness. I feel like I could do pretty much anything now at this point. And the egg has yet to hatch. So I'm not really too sure how this works. Oh, you could just break the dragon egg. Okay. Hatches in 300 seconds. It's been hatching for 5 billion years. How long is 600 seconds? That's 10 minutes. So I place it down. Let me see now. Oh, it just reset it. Okay. So I got to leave it alone pretty much. I apologize. I will be waiting the 600 seconds, even though it's been like five years. It's probably because I've been in different dimensions for most of the time. But anyways, let's go ahead and get some more redstone and put all of this stuff away. All right, I found the ancient factory and these blocks are unbreakable. So I need to find the entrance somehow. Okay, hopefully I'm getting closer maybe. Okay, I'm starting to see it on my map. I'm not too sure which part is the entrance. Might as well make a lucky guess. I can't make an educated guess because I'm not educated enough to know which one's the entrance. Man, how far does this place go, man? Something's telling me this is not the entrance. Yeah, I don't think this is the entrance from the uh, silhouette so far. Yeah, I gotta go around. I'm starting to realize this is probably where the Harbringer is at. And the other place is the large entrance area. So let me go back. Oh, at least this one's easier to get past by. Oh, I found the entrance. Okay, let's get up here. Now let's make our way through. Is there any mobs in here? There should be. There's a bunch of different blocks in here that I don't really need. Yeah, there should be like a ton of different mobs. And where in the world is the Harbinger? He should be like right here. When the world? He should definitely be here. I don't know. So you tell me I spent all of this time searching just for him to not be here. You know what, man? It's all good. I don't need the Elytra. I already have my Tidal Claws and a Paraglider. So I think I'll be fine with just that. So anyways, I need to prepare for the Wither Storm because that is exactly what I'm about to do next is fight the Wither Storm. So I already fought the Wither Storm multiple times and I know you need like TNT and a bunch of different things. Cracker's Wither Storm is not in the GAI, so that's kind of interesting. I'm not too sure if there's any like specific requirements you need for like the command block book and the uh, periscope. I think that's what it's called to check the Wither Storm stats. I will bring the TNT with me. Definitely some blaze. I don't know why, but I'm going to carry this cryptic eye with me. And enchanted golden apples, of course. I also want a bunch of normal golden apples. So let's go ahead and make those. My armor can't be enchanted any further, unfortunately. Not with anything else, at least. Or any type of book, which is all good. Oh, so you can't craft the uh, telescope thingy for Cracker's Wither Storm. So this mod is extremely different. I might just have to face the Wither Storm itself to actually figure out what to do specifically. I'm still going to carry this on me. All right. I think I'm pretty much ready. I might need some more mending mixtures just in case. Yep, I got five in here. Thank goodness. I'm making sure I'm over prepared, like way beyond prepared. This coffee is pretty good. I'll be taking that. I think I have enough food to be honest. Now let's go ahead and grab our dimensional carver and put it inside of a capsid. But anyways, let's go ahead and make this dimensional carver. There we go. And now we need a capsid. Also, what the dimensional carver originally does, if you just use it like this, it creates like a portal which sends you back to your spawn point, which is right there. So if we do that, of course we're here and why am I inside of the wall? Am I good? Where in the world am I? Okay, so let's go ahead and place this capsid here, dimensional carver, and wait for it to break apart. And there it goes, the shattered dimensional carver. So now next up, where it all began, find the rundown house floating in the skies. So we have to build our way up. So I don't have to use this shattered uh, dimensional carver, at least not yet. All right, what do I do with these two? They seem important. Infinity cake and teleportato. Ender rod. Oh, you can make ethereum stuff. Okay, that's what it looks like at least. That's pretty cool, but I kind of like my weapon better. I can smelt this ethereum into ethereum ingots and get the ethereum set as well. 
well. I don't know how good this set is, but it's definitely not better than what I have on. Let's just put it that way. So I gotta go to one of these four coordinates. So it's exactly a million blocks it looks like. And I feel like that dimensional carver is gonna take me there. As it says here, it'll take me a million blocks away. So let's get ready and do this. I did want to uh, get the dragon, but he doesn't seem to be hatching. All right, before we get to the winter storm, I did craft these four things right here, which summons different bosses. I probably should have done this like early game, but let's go ahead and fight them now. The haunted bell. And what in the world is that? Um, who are you? You have like 300 health, it looks like. How much health you got? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and eliminate him. He's flying around and throwing out his bell or something. He's extremely bright as well. Oh, and there we go. That was easy. He dropped phantoplasm, which is used for a couple of things, which is actually pretty cool. I'm mainly looking for uh the fortune's favor or the ace of iron which negates some incoming attacks, which is affected by luck as well. I think it's the Devil's Antique that will summon the guy that I need or something. You know what I mean? 450 HP is kind of crazy. Now, what do you do? Come on, show me. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right. Those are some pretty interesting attacks, buddy. You're not really doing much, though. I should have fought these guys way earlier. But he does have a lot of health, which is kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and get rid of him, though. And you're dead. Let's go. Yep, he dropped me to Fortune's Favor. Now, let's summon the Swamp Jaw. And boom. Oh my gosh, he's kind of a uh, loady. Yo, buddy, come here. Oh, goodness. What do you even do? Are you going to, like, dive down or something on me? I'm going to need my bow for this one. Come on, man. All right, I did some damage. Like, actually, what does he do? Like, he's not, like, hitting me or anything. Oh, he just dropped a bomb. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yo. All right. Now he's doing something. Let's just go ahead and get rid of him real quick. Oh my gosh. Wait, Creeper Minion died? How? What in the world? It's not like I made him follow me here. Oh, he finally dived down. All right, he's a 1 HP. Come on, man. Come here. And, all right, or not. I need to grab onto him. Come on, stop moving, bro. Let me grab you. All right, that works. And goodbye. We got the Mossy 2, which is used for a couple of things as well. You can get more attack damage with this hand thingy. Reduce damage that exceeds 1 fourth of max health. I also looked at this, and I think that might be better than this somewhat i don't know we'll look at it later let's go ahead and fight this final boss and boom rosaline blade of dusk that doesn't look like a blade it looks like a cube i don't know where you're on okay could i not shoot it or do i have to shoot the little uh things first i'm not really too sure and why is she so high up bro that's not even fair all right there we go oh I actually hit them yeah i definitely gotta get rid of the little ones first yep so let me try reaching them if i could all right there we go i got one nice Oh, they're so high up for no reason. All right. Nice little hit. And come on. There we go. I got two at one. Nice. Just one more. They're way too high up, though. There we go. Oh, what just happened? Is that a person? Come here. Oh, goodness. All right. Yo, it's good, man. 500 health. Where are you taking me? All right. I need you to come down here, please. Like, he's like walking on air. I need to shoot him. There we go. Oh, what? What in the world? Oh, my goodness. Okay. This is a pretty cool looking boss. I'm not going to lie. But definitely not cooler than me. Oh, he's invincible now. What's he doing? I got to get rid of these things again. Bruh. Can I not hit them? All right. There we go. All right. Here we go. I got one. And that's another one. Boom. And boom. That should be it. Now we should unlock. What in the world? Yo, what in the world's going on with you, buddy? Looks like he's trying to lock in. But it's not going to work against me, buddy. So we got the Violet Bloom. We can make a necklace that increases all of our damage, but takes away 50% of our health. I'm not doing that. Gain experience from mobs. You can make a sword and some food. Nothing really too crazy. So yeah, my creeper really did die. That's kind of sad. I don't know why. So let's go ahead and craft a cage heart. Because if I take a major amount of damage, it will make me take less of that major amount of damage that you should normally get hit with, if that makes sense. It's basically what it's saying. The Ace of Iron is also pretty good, but I don't know though. I don't know what's better for me. Negating attacks completely or actually reduces overall damage i think this will be way better in my opinion so let's go ahead and stick with that also i replaced the pearl of the void with the eye of nebula because i'm immune to any stats including like regeneration from golden apples and stuff so i don't think it's gonna be good for me i'll keep it on me just in case if i get wither sickness but yeah i'm gonna be using the eye of nebula for now is it about time we make our way to the wither storm i have everything i need i did pretty much everything that i wanted to do so let's go ahead and get started and break the fabric of reality why in the world does it look like that um that's kind of interesting but let's go ahead and do this here we go all right this is kind of scary oh my gosh all right let's go did i go through i should have uh it's probably teleporting me right now who knows yeah everything's standing still so it's time to get ready 
and enter the unknown or whatever. <laughs> Why am I swinging so fast? What in the world? Um, what in the world? Do I have to go back in? Yep. What the? Um, I'm nervous. I'm beyond nervous. Please, please don't let me die or something. I'm falling into the void. Well, oh my gosh, where am I? I'm inside of stone. I can't even open my inventory. Oh, guys, I'm extremely nervous. I don't know where I'm at. Please save me. All right, I got my pickaxe. I officially, okay, yep. I think I'm pretty much here. As you can see from the cords, I'm like near one in one million. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be at, Y level wise. I know I'm not supposed to be here, like underground where it all began. So I've done this achievement, nice. And I have to summon the Wither Storm. Do not go back home after summoning. In the top platform of the rundown house, you'll find a Wither formation with a command block in the center. Place the final Wither skeleton skull lying nearby on the top of the command block. Once completed, the Wither Storm will spawn at phase zero and you'll have until the Wither Storm's boss bar fills up to get the heck out of there. The Wither Storm, once finally summoned, will begin to destroy the entire world and you by association. Get as much distance away from the Wither Storm as possible as it will rapidly grow over time. All right, so I definitely gotta get up to the surface because I'm not supposed to be down here. Okay, I see something on my map. Looks like some type of mine shaft or something. I see a bunch of villagers and a pillager on my map. Apparently they're coexisting. All right, I made it to the surface finally, about time. All right, so where in the world am I supposed to go again? There should be like a floating island somewhere around here. Oh my gosh, why am I flying? Oh, I think I'm just lagging, yeah. All right, so I didn't realize until now, we actually have to be in the end for this. And speaking of the end, I turned up my render distance by a lot and I see a end city. I think that's like a proper one this time. So hopefully I get a light from there i'll just keep it by itself i guess instead of adding it onto my chest plate unfortunately i'm starting to realize how beautiful the end is though ever since i turned on my render distance oh i see a end ship over there but there's definitely not one here so let's make my way towards here i'm sorry for the hold up guys but there's things to be done all right we're officially in where's the elytra oh elytra there we go and we got a cloud in the bottle impossible to use i'm not replacing my heart bottle my crystal heart my bad i will be taking this dragon head though so thank you very much and this building is so huge there has to be something good inside of it surely there's a bunch of mobs here a bunch of skeletons with 120 hp for some reason and they're pretty fast as well but i'm keeping up so it doesn't really matter where's the loot at okay i'm seeing everything but loot yeah there's nothing really much here i'm gonna just make my way out and stop wasting time there's also one more thing i want to do before i use the dimensional carver and what in the world those phantoms are huge oh my goodness they're overwhelmingly huge all right so let's go fight the sidlif all right let's make our way up like i'm spider-man or something boom and i made it up let's go we just place this eye vendor here and let's fight the sidlif there he goes we just gotta smack him around he's only 300 health which is not bad oh goodness okay i gotta watch out for that all right now we gotta destroy these things and come on hurry and boom there we go that's first gotta dodge these while breaking which is kind of stupid oh goodness all right there we go now let's do the rest boom oh goodness that's another one down another one gotta keep dodging these pretty easy i'm not gonna lie oh goodness and boom i think that was the last one yep let's uh destroy him once and for all let's go ahead and use our special attack because all he does is stand still so oh and he just protected himself nice as i was about to kill him we gotta destroy these again that's the last one i think nope we have one more and there we go all right let's use our special move hopefully okay boom and there we go oh my gosh she got destroyed i'm not gonna lie let's get up here and try to claim our rewards which we don't really need at this point but let's go ahead and grab it anyway and finally let's go to the winter storm let's do this once and for all so i had a million issues with this mod pack in general i can't really do much about it the structures aren't spawning I've checked everywhere pretty much so I kind of had to place the Wither here and spawn him manually according to what I've seen on discord sometimes the structure doesn't spawn it's kind of like a weird bug or something and I can't even slash place it in or anything so we're gonna have to fight it like this I I'm extremely sorry about this guys so let's go ahead and do this all right now I gotta wait for the Wither Storm to uh spawn in basically there he is up there i don't know when he's gonna spawn just look at him dude oh he already did spawn okay and he's consuming everything around him of course so let's go ahead and take a look at our quest book winter storm face check 
Okay, so you have to submit one level to actually check his stat. So let's go ahead and submit that. Get Wither Storm phase. Okay, for some reason that doesn't work. And he is now coming down. I wonder if I could shoot him. Please let me shoot. Oh, there we go. I got him. Okay, he doesn't have his visors yet, so he can't really do much to me. But he is after me. Okay, let me uh get out of here. He's actually chasing me down. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, he's mad fast. Oh my gosh. Like, he's actually, like, on me, bro. Why is he so fast? Oh, and he already evolved? What the? Wait. Oh, my gosh. Wait. I actually can't. Wait. Let me go. When the? How is he? How is he already this level? They actually did so much to him. Okay. There we go. And, of course, I can't even use this thing to pull myself. He evolved so fast. What in the world? And he's still pulling me in for some reason. I don't know how. But it shouldn't be possible to pull me from here. Okay, let me see. Run. We've already completed that. Curing the Wither Sickness. I don't really care about that right now. The Withered Symbiont. So we gotta wait for uh, Phase 5 for him to spawn in the Withered Symbiont. He's already, like, max level. Oh, he already did spawn in him. In. Okay, I'm not complaining. So now I gotta wait for his back to be available so I could backshot him or back hit him, whatever. And, of course, he summons a bunch of fireballs. They're not really doing much. Wait, could I get him? Nope. Oh, okay. What's going on? All right, man. I need you to shut down. I have to wait for him to shut down. I think I accidentally hit that mutant enderman. Yup, I did. Oh, goodness. Let me go ahead and get rid of you guys. It's kind of buggy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there's a lot going on. Like, it's kind of buggy too. Oh, he shut down. Where is he? I can't see him. I can't see anything. Okay. Oh, there he is. All right, there's a lot going on right now. And I can't see. It's probably because of the mutants. Oh, he's not even shut down anymore. Wait, is he? I think I hit him. Oh my gosh, there is too much going on right now. These mutes and endermen are on my case. I need to get rid of these guys first, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. All right, there's the withered symbiont. Let's go ahead and uh, hit his back. Okay, or not. But can I please go up to him? All right, there we go. Please. There we go. Oh, I hit him multiple times. Thank goodness. And oh goodness. There's way too much going on. I'm like teleporting everywhere. There's a bunch of endermen and endermites. Oh my gosh, just music is actually insane as well. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really liking this Witterstorm fight because uh, I like how the Witterstorm evolves like immediately pretty much. And you don't have to wait like five years. Okay, he shut down. All right, let's do this. There we go. All right, he's almost dead pretty much. He has to shut down at least one more time. Oh, I have so much stuff in my inventory. Okay, please get away from me. Oh, there we go. I got him. Nice. All right, I need him to drop his command block uh, book. Please give it to me. All right, could you die already, please? And there we go. Okay, I'm getting teleported everywhere. I don't even know where the book is at. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go ahead and get it. And there we go. Infinite potential. Now that we killed the uh, Wither Symbiont... Let's go ahead and claim our rewards. Let me just claim everything at this point. And now we have to make the Super TNT. Using your newly acquired command block book, craft a Super TNT. It will take four pieces of regular TNT, blah, 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 recipe. After that, it's time for the Formida Bomb. Explosive that will pretty much kill everything around us. And it does have a countdown, so we got to be aware of that. But don't I need the command block tool first? Well, it's cool. Let me just go ahead and craft this first. And we can always fight another symbiont later. I'm surprised he's not even like pulling me up or anything. All right, let's go ahead and make the super TNT. Then we have to make the formidabomb. All right, here we go. Formidabomb. And we have 500 seconds. So all I really need to do now is light this on fire and make my escape. So I could just go underneath him and obviously explode him. If I could get up, please. Let me get up. There we go. Look at how huge he is. Oh my goodness. All right, anything else? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. So we got to blow up the Wither Storm now. Let's go ahead and place this here. And boom. Now we got to make our escape like immediately because it will create a huge crater, probably destroying this entire island, if anything. So let me just go back as far as I can for now. Thank goodness I have this grappling hook. And there's a Formida Bomb. It should explode any minute now. And yup, my screen is radiating with interesting effects indicating that the formida bomb is about to explode okay any second now i still see the formida bomb up there come on with your storm any time now let me get up here and there it goes oh my gosh yo oh my goodness we did it blow up the wither storm okay i cannot see and yup there goes the wither storm and his body parts oh my gosh
Yup, timber. Let's go. Please don't fall off the void. And okay, there he goes. Perfect. So now what's next? Attack the command block. Before I do that, I completely forgot about the entries. I have to read these. I really don't feel like reading these, to be honest. But it's talking about like gods and stuff. So it's kind of interesting. So I might as well read it. If these endermen could get off of me. Entry one is a stress call. I see you've started to collect some eyes, hmm? Oh, sorry for scaring you. Don't be afraid. You're not going insane. I'm a lowly ender being communicating with my mind. I've only come to ask for you for your help. My people and I have been locked away for eons due to the quarreling of gods. We hope to bring peace to the world, but we were only caught in the crossfire. Those eyes you've been collecting, they're the source of all of the gods' power. Used to shape the world to their will. Just from you holding so many, you've been imbued with a portion of the god's strength. I ask on behalf of my people, please save us. It's so lonely here. Fight your way through the underworld and empower yourself with god Neptune's armor. I actually did that at the very beginning. I didn't know I had to do that. I give you this heart as an offering of peace. Use it to keep yourself safe, young adventurer. The world is full of monsters, thieves, and liars. Entry 2, an expanded world. The power of gods continue to follow through you. Your eyes have granted you sight of the realms of light and dark. With this, you should have all you need to obtain the remaining six eyes. You, for the first time in eons, have inspired hope in many people. Or my people, sorry. Thank you. Continue on your adventure, young one. Venture to the Everbright and Everdawn, summon the ancient demons, and empower yourself with netherite. But be careful, long forgotten foes have started to rise, feeling the pull of the god's power. You have a long road ahead, I offer you another heart as a sign of appreciation for my people. A conqueror. Nine of the gods' eyes already? You've progressed so far so fast, adventurer. Your sight has grown ever stronger as well. Reading the scrolls and infusing enchants onto books should come with ease to you. You should also be able to smith the gods' dark metal war armor, which I actually did do, which is kind of crazy. I, don't, I didn't read any of this. All this time, I thought the gods' power was all gone, used up in their meaningless war that unrivaled the dominion of time. Think of all the things we could do with the eyes. I'm getting ahead of myself. May you continue to best the world with ease, take this heart, and collect the final eyes. We'll show the gods that my realm isn't theirs to conquer. A foretold destiny. I I can finally feel my skin again. You saved me, thank you. With the eyes in your possession, you can now forge all but the most powerful gear. That of the god of Ignis himself, which I did do. Here is one final heart. A mark of my sincerest respect and gratitude. This union of eyes, I never thought I'd see the day. Balance and restored. Balance restored to the universe in spite of the god's will. And so much localized power in the hands of one person. I can just feel it coming from you all the way here. Those rulers of this broken world faded as time unraveled. They locked me away for an eternity, but I survived. I was patient. I pleaded for help from hundreds of demigods, heroes, and thieves, but I've never thought of asking someone like you. Someone so foolish, blinded, even with 12 eyes in your possession. You see, I was so close to banishing the gods, wiping them off the face of the overworld without a second thought, but the lowly civilians came together, forging the eyes and banishing me. Now though, it seems as if the new door has opened, I'm finally free. I've come to respect your little heart adventure. Come to me, I'll give you a chance to die with honor. Okay, that's kind of weird. A new fate. Hi, my name is Christy, and I'm the new guy. Don't worry, I'm not here to take over any realms. I'm just here to say congratulations. You can now utilize the strongest tools in all of the realms. You probably won't need it, but I found this last heart laying around, so I think I'll give it to you as a thanks. Thank you so much for playing this mod pack all the way through. It took me hundreds of hours to figure out how to put this all together. I really hope you enjoyed. Now have fun being a master of the realms. Oh, and could you do me one more favor for me? I put a final question in your book. I'd like you to take a look. It's been a long time since I've been in my old home. I miss it very much. Unfortunately, the game does not have your old home, so I apologize. I forgot to read this, but it's nothing really important. Let's continue on. Let's go ahead and make our way to the command block. Let's go ahead and grapple up here. Could I grapple onto this? Is this even like a block or solid surface? Oh, okay. I'm climbing something. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't want to go through that again. All right. And we pretty much made it up. Now, where in the world is this command block? Oh, it's right here. Here it is. Bro, now let's go ahead and smash. Okay, maybe not. And of course, it's pressing down and it's awakening. I could grapple onto it. Okay, I don't think I want to do that though. Now there's three of them, of course. And he's trying to pull me up. What's next? Uh, okay, that didn't work. 
Now there's three of them. Change of plans that Winter Storm has been weakened from the blast, so it's not all that bad. However, if things keep going on like this, we're gonna have an army of Winter Storms on our hands. Wait, I'm actually taking damage. What in the world? From what though? Okay, it's probably the Winter Sickness or something. But anyways, uh, you guys can read this if you pause the video. We need to make a command block tool. So I need another Withered Symbiont to spawn in. So I actually do need a smithing table to uh, make a command block tool with my diamond gear or whatever. But I don't have that on me, so I might actually have to go back home. I don't know if that would affect anything. But let's focus on getting the... So let's focus on getting the second command block book. All right, there's another Withered Symbiont right here. Let's go ahead and do this, buddy. You're nothing to me. Oh, oh okay. Oh, goodness. Come on, buddy. You're useless. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Okay. He's about to combo me. All right, he got some minions here. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. Oh, and he's down. Let's go ahead and... Okay, we're not. Let's use this Ancient Pearl and summon a friendly Enderman. There we go. Oh, goodness. I don't know what happened to him. He probably just died or something. Okay, there's a lot of... Go uh, there's a lot of things going on. So many mobs. This game's a little bit framey, and I apologize in advance. All right, let's go ahead and... There we go. All right, steal as much damage as possible if I can or not. Come on, man. Go down. Oh, there's my ancient uh, Enderman. He's just flying. Oh my gosh, I'm actually taking damage. I don't know what from. I think from the Withered Symbiont, but I didn't really see him attacking me. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a bunch of arrows. Come on, man. Hurry up. Okay, he summoned a bunch of minions. Let's go ahead and take care of them. And I heard him go down, so let's get up if possible. I actually don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. But he's not down anymore, unfortunately. Oh, what's going on with him? He's tweaking. All right, buddy. It's never that serious. Where are you running to? Oh, goodness. Oh, he's actually dealing damage. All right, I hear him down again. I need to find him because I keep teleporting. Oh, goodness. And I'm taking plenty of damage. I wonder what the inside of a Wither Storm is going to be like. All right, could I? Yep, I'm dealing damage. Perfect. But I think he's back up again. Those arrows okay oh my gosh okay i feel like in normal minecraft those would actually do a lot of damage like no matter what gear you have you're going mad fast that's a lot of them too all right i think he's down again let's go ahead and attack or not let's go ahead and swap these around because i think this is what's uh teleporting me and Sloki kind of annoying all right there's still a couple mobs down here okay i'm still getting teleported so i don't think it's uh what i just had on oh my gosh okay gotta get rid of his minions once again boom and he's down again come on all i care about is you right now i don't think he's down anymore all right i got him finally and there's the book let's go ahead and pick that up so now i need a smithing table i'll be back once i get one all right now we have to craft a command block tool just like that there we go now where am i we have to enter inside of the wither storm now now that you got yourself a command block tool all that's left to do is destroy the command block inside the gigantic beast you'll have to adventure into the pocket dimension inside of him at random intervals or once the wither storm has reached its ultimate form blah 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 prepare yourself with the best gear and everything else ender pearls blocks Make sure I have a crossbow for Ender Pearl to enter, and yeah, I'm already chilling on that. The only problem is me getting up there because the Wither Storm does not like keeping me inside of his beam, but I think I'm chilling for now. I just gotta wait for the right opportunity. Okay, of course. I wonder if I could linch onto like blocks or something with my grappler, perhaps. Please, maybe, maybe that one. Okay, I'm. Wait, no, he's not even open yet. Have to wait for his final, final form. And he is not at that level yet. There's a couple of creatures climbing on top of him as well, which is kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and check his phase. There we go. Please actually tell me. All right, it's not working for some reason. But I'm getting extremely close. Could I climb onto him from here? I don't think so. Nope. Well, I just got to play the waiting game, I guess. I think I've seen a weird gap inside of him. I don't know if I'm correct, but I think I should be able to enter him now. I'm just assuming so because his evolution speed is extremely fast. So I'm assuming he's already at his final phase. Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I expected. All right, you guys can see like the texture right there. It's kind of hard to see from here, but I'm assuming that's it. Let me try getting in. I don't think this is working. I just know I'm literally getting eaten right now. All right, I'm actually gonna die here. Oh my gosh, please let me go. I'm swinging everywhere I can. I'm trying to enter pearl down. Okay, I'm actually gonna die. All right, oh, I finally got him. All right, let's try it this time. I swear there's a gap, guys. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, when I wasn't recording, there was like this huge like hole. But I dropped last second before I could even pull up my crossbow. So give me some time and I'll be in there, hopefully. Alright, let's try it like this. 
Yup, there we go. I like how my game crashes immediately, but it looks like we're in. Let's go ahead and claim everything right now. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. We got a trinket for our body. Blast damage reduced by 30%. Well, don't really need that now. All right, we're gonna make our way through this interesting looking place and get to the command block. So let's go ahead and break it. I love this dimension because it makes my FPS feel so good. And boom, let's go. All right, let's get off of here because it will knock us off. And there goes the command block, it's raising. And we gotta go through waves of mobs, I'm pretty sure. Yup, here they are. Boom and boom. Goodbye, zombie. And I think we could just get up here. Let's go ahead and do that and smack this thing again. There we go. It's halfway dead. And okay, the tentacles have awoken. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. 160 HP. These guys were not this strong. Oh my gosh, I wish my PC felt this smooth uh, all the time. Boom. Goodbye, guys. And this guy's down. All right, couldn't finish him there. Can I get up here? Let me see. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe not. Let's go ahead and get rid of all the tentacles first, maybe. Okay, maybe I can right now. This Wither Symbiont is definitely in the way. Oh my gosh. These arrows again, man. Nope. They're not really doing much, so I'm chilling. Just gotta keep dodging. And let's go ahead and finish him off, hopefully. Come on, please. Ah, only like one more hit. All right, he's making his way onto my head at least he's trying to but it's not working out so well come on buddy when will you realize you're no match for me okay i don't want to okay oh okay that that works oh okay get off of me tentacle could i finish you off please there we go and the withered symbiont is now down come on i need to make my way behind and then finish him off there we go boom i think i gotta get rid of these tentacles I don't know if I can. Oh, I could. Okay, never mind. Your health bar wasn't like going down or anything. All right, goodbye, tentacle. Go ahead and perish for me. And boom. Now for the last one, let's go ahead and use our special move. And let's go. Please go ahead and die. Okay, that didn't work out. But it did deal a lot of damage, clearly. Let's go up here again. Hopefully, I'm able to destroy this time. And let's go. There we go. One more time. It's raising even further. And these guys should come on. There we go. Yep. Let me uh, do that. I think I can hit him with this hook thingy. Come on, let me do it, please. Please, 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 please. Ah, dang. All right. It teleported me down, so that's cool. All right. There we go. Get rid of all these mobs that are in the way. You guys are nothing to me. Boom. And boom. Can I shoot you? Please let me shoot you. Okay, I shot you once. And that's twice. All right. Let's get rid of everybody. Boom. 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 Oh, goodness. Literally, boom. I wonder if I could get up here now. Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. All right. I could. All right. This is it, guys. I need a quick thumbnail real quick. All right. I think I got everything I need. It's time to destroy the command block. Let's go. Goodbye, Winter Storm. Okay. What's going on now? Okay. It is completely white on my screen. I'm extremely nervous. Oh, and I don't know what's happening. And why is my health like that? Nan out of 64. What? Oh, I'm having this glitch. Okay. I understand now. But let's go ahead and go back home. Well, you know, the end, basically. And we're out. Okay. Wait, what? I can't go into my inventory or nothing. Yeah, it's a game-breaking glitch, unfortunately. But normally, he would be timbering down and crashing. And we celebrate and have a good day. But I can't do anything right now. I can't even go to my inventory. I, I can't even grapple or nothing. Could I swing my sword at least? Yeah. But I can't really do much about that. So I'm just going to show you guys a clip of me actually killing the Wither Storm for the ending after this video. But the series ends off here, basically. I can't even access my quest book. So let me try something. So I made a new world and... I'm just gonna go ahead and kill him like this just to showcase to you guys and there he goes normally we would fall out just like that and there he goes all his body parts are falling and he is deteriorating and decomposing in the sky let's go and we got the withered nether star so let's just pretend that we did it you guys already know the final battle all things must come to an end we got the celestial workbench and a celestial core which are used for celestial weapons, which are really cool. You can't really see them in the GEI for some reason, which is kind of dumb, but you could craft these, which are pretty nice. But I'm just going to leave it off here. I'm extremely sorry for the disappointing ending. I couldn't really do much about it. It's just a bunch of bugs and stuff, you know, it's whatever. But if you guys enjoyed this series, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And give me some mod pack suggestions and I'll most likely play them probably. As long as they're not like techy or whatever. They're pretty cool. I respect them, but it's just not for me. I like fighting and adventuring. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next series. Have a great day.